That's the 911 fire engine. This, if you're familiar with Ospreys, it looks familiar from Bell. Stradaline, simply gorgeous. Golden era of flying. Beautiful propellers. The Rulon Quickie, interesting name. Hmm. That's a kit plane there. Let's go take a look at the beautiful Italian American designed plane. Hope you find it gorgeous as well. You can tell they put a lot of work and passion into this. Let's take a look at some more kit planes. The world's smallest plane. If uh, you're over six feet, you don't want to be in that. The Stratoliner, of course, is world famous from Boeing. As is this Boeing 707. The Concorde went Mach 2. People that have flown on it have said that they did not notice any difference except for the numbers on the screen at the front of the plane. That 707 engine is still impressive to this day. Here, you have kind of a misnomer. This is a Sukhoi, Sukhoi Su-26M. This was used by several acrobatic teams in the United States. It is ironic that they're using a Russian aircraft, but it's very cool. If you visit the DC area, the Udvar Hazen Center is far more superior than the one in Washington, DC. Let's go take a look at some elite planes for wealthy people. Of course, Felix Baumgartner has basketball-sized balls to jump out of this at uh, 127,000 feet above the earth. This is the Grumman Goose that elites from places like Long Island would fly on back in the day. And of course, how can you not love the Breitling Orbiter? If you're into hot air balloons, this platform got lots of world records.